The wind chill factor is a comparative measure of the rate that heat is carried away from an object warmer than the surrounding air temperature. But it doesn't matter how windy it is, the object can never be chilled lower than the surrounding air temperature unless there is evaporation of fluid on the surface of the object. But that gets a bit confusing. If an object that is 100 degrees Fahrenheit is placed in a garage that is 10 degrees Fahrenheit, heat will be lost until the object is 10 degrees. Let's say it takes 4 hours. As the object cools, the air immediately next to the surface of the object is warmed up a bit, so it cools slowly. But if we take the pile outside in 20 mph winds, then the surrounding air will be blown away and replaced with fresh air at 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Also the heat of the object will be carried away faster, and the object might cool in 2 hours only but will never get colder than 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So the wind chill factor just compares existing conditions to the chill that would be experienced in dead calm air. If bubbles start appearing in the rad when the rad cap is off and the engine is running, it's a sign of a leaking head gasket. Lots of fun. Another sign is steam coming out of the exhaust on a warmed up engine. When mixed in a 50-50 ratio with water, Antifreeze both lowers the freezing temperature and raises the boiling temperature. Unfortunately, it also has resistance to heat transfer and your engine will actually run hotter, although the temperature gauge will appear cooler if you mix a greater percentage of antifreeze than water. So never ever make more than a 50-50 mix of water and antifreeze.